Hello everyone. Welcome to Fame World Educational Hub. Myself Ashwarya Saxena and in this Tinder programming series today I am going to start with a new project. In the previous video I have demonstrated a small project using F string and today I am just going to create a file for you and today I am again going to deal with some F string work only but yes today we will be storing the data in a file. So I am taking my the name I am taking my store project. So let's take a project which uh, we will be creating for the store for a small store in which different uh, things are available and uh, we can just uh, purchase them. So these kind of things uh, the small projects can be dealt with the help of file handling also. Like it's not always necessary to use the SQL or database, MySQL database or SQL like SQL Lite or anything. Yes, if uh, some small shops are there and for them you want to create the project, so this is really simple. You can create it easily with the help of Tinder and uh, the small project we are going to start now. So let's start. First of all, I am just going to create the basic structure because it's necessary to be created to handle the data. Now I am creating normal window we have created. Now I am taking some heading. So this heading I am taking here and uh, welcome to my store. This will be the heading. Okay. So after that I am taking some text. So here in the text I am taking multiple things like you can see. I am taking name, phone number, gender, emergency and payment. So these are the different things which we are taking here. After that I am just going to pack these things. So I am using grid here to pack them. So we have packed all our text uh, like labels which we have taken. Then we have already discussed about the F string in the previous video. I hope you have watched that video. Here also I am going to use the F string now. And uh, here I have taken like variables for all the entries. So these variables will be showing the data of the entries which will be input there. Here you can see for the name value, phone value, gender value, emergency and uh, this uh, payment. So here I have taken all in the string val val because I will be taking entries for them. But for the food service value I have taken int val because like I will be taking the check box here. So for the check button basically it takes either 0 or 1. So if it is checked so it will be taking 1 otherwise it will be taking 0. So for that we have taken int var. Then I am just taking the entries for our form. You can see the entries, name entry, phone entry, gender entry, emergency entry and payment mode entry I have taken. Here we have just taken the text variables in where we have just for as these uh, name value, phone value. So whatever we are entering in these entries that will be getting stored in the variables which we have taken. Now I'm going to pack them. So I'm just packing all my entries which we have created here. So here I am just packing name entry, phone entry, all with the help of grid. Now let's take the checkbox because I have not yet taken the checkbox. So let's take the checkbox also for the food service. So here I have now taken, I'm taking the checkbox here, food service checkbox I have taken, the check button. So want to pre-book your meal, suppose in some place. And uh, here we have taken this. After that, I'm taking a, a button. Obviously, we require a button to submit our data. So let's take our button and then win.mail loop will be required. So here we have taken our button also. So submit to A as the best or let's say submit to my store. So here I have taken submit to my store. Okay now command I have taken get wells. Let's create this get wells now. So here I am just going to create this get wells which will be basically handling our data. So that I am taking here. So here I am defining a function. First of all, the values I'm printing on the terminal. 
and here in the case of f string actually we do not have to press enter because if we will be pressing enter you can see error is coming here we do not have to press enter just to show you the code i have enter here and uh, first of all like uh, as we will be pressing on a button all the things will be printing on the terminal so we have used this print command so name value dot get phone value dot get with the help of f string we have done and then i have used this file command you can see record.txt right now i am not having any record.txt here but yes as soon as i will be running this program and i will be submitting the data so the record.txt will automatically be created because it is in the append mode you can see so this append mode means like first of all the file will be created then everything will be like you can see right we have used so everything will be written on the file and here at the end you can see i have taken slash n so multiple records we can store in this file and every record will be coming on the different line as we are using print here so obviously it will be coming on different line on a terminal this terminal one is uh, optional it's up to you it's required uh, if it's up to you you want to use it or not but yes just to show you the values i am just using it here now uh, i'm just making it uh, in a single line otherwise here it will be coming error so let's run this program and check that it's working properly or not let's run this program and check okay here you can see we are here and let's check this record.txt it's still not created because we have just run it we have not submitted any data but yes you will be seeing it it as soon as i will be submitting the data it will be created so let's take some data and uh, Let's take Paytm. Okay. Now, if I will be checking this, want to pre-book your meal? So, in this case, it will be taking value one. Submit to my store, and now you can see the values are here. And uh, here in the Kinder Pro, you can see this record dot txt is now created. This record dot txt is created, and you can see it is also having the values which we have submitted. So the values which we have submitted are here. Now let's check with some other values. Suppose here I am taking Ashwarya Saxena, another person it is, and let's take some values. And cash, and this time I am just not checking it and submit. So here you can see it's coming here also and it's coming here also. so you can see it's coming very properly and all the data is getting saved you can check it for different values uh, let's uh, take some more value and let's say phone pay or google pay and uh, the same it's hang okay so here let's submit it now and you can see it's submitted that it has submitted in the file also and here also let's take last one more uh and you can see our pro project is working so fine submit and here it is so all the data is getting submitted properly if i just close this file i can just check it again everything is here so all the records are getting maintained and that's the beauty of this program i hope this was clear i'm just showing you the whole code once so it would be easier for uh, the people who are trying to create it by their own so let's So we will be seeing more projects in the series so stay tuned and if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe Fame World Educational Hub see you in the next video